DIY, we are going to be giving this lovely file cabinet a makeover. I think I got this file cabinet from Target or Walmart, I don't know, I was in middle school when we got it, but it has now turned into my craft supply drawer. You can see all my different crafts because the bins are translucent. I'm not really feeling the green anymore, it stands out in my room pretty well, so we're giving it a lovely makeover. I'm thinking we are going to be spray painting it and then attempting, keyword attempting, to hydro dip the front of the drawers. I've never hydro dipped before, so this is going to be interesting. Alright, we're cleaning out the drawers and I have a lot of art supplies apparently and apparently I have modeling clay. I don't remember ever getting this, but yeah, I have clay apparently. Oh, I hope this can hold my weight. Okay. <laughs> now that everything's out of the drawers, we're going to get a wet rag. Oh, I can feel it going. We're going to get a wet rag to get all the dirt and dust off because we don't want any of that getting in our paint. Okay, this is a good break. Alright, we are all clean and ready to paint. Oh, it's wet. Alright, it is time to get spray painting. I have my sheet light out in my backyard all ready. I'm actually going to start by spraying the inside of the bins copper because I think it'll just look prettier that way even though I'm the only person who will actually see it, but I don't care. Alright, time to paint the outer part of our drawers white. Alright, we have our base coat done. Now we're just going to let it sit and dry for a little. It's really hot, so I put on shorts, but we have the lid of our bins all taped off and ready to hydro dip. Now the real challenge begins. All right, for my very limited knowledge of hydro dipping, what you need to do is fill some sort of bucket with water, then spray the spray paint on the surface. I kept alternating colors until I got the marble effect I wanted. Then in my case, I dipped the front of the drawers into the water and used a paintbrush or a stick to get off the excess paint in the water. Then I prayed for the best results. Guys, it actually worked. I'm so happy right now. Okay, we're actually gonna take a paper, I think this one's the most dry. We're gonna take a paper towel and just kind of dab it. Get all the water droplets off so they don't dry on. Oh my God, this looks so cool. It's definitely textured, but I'm fine with that. So I was pulling the tape off and this happened. Great. All right, our drawers are all dry, but we're gonna take this Mod Podge spray. It comes out clear just to set it and make sure every none of the paint peels off. Are you guys ready for this awesomeness? But um, I'm so proud of this. Oh my God. It actually looks so cool. Oh my god. This turned out so much better than I expected it to be. I do kind of wish these bottom two drawers had more white in the marble, but I ran out of white spray paint after doing the top drawer, so what you gonna do? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe and like down below and more DIYs to come.